Hello everybody, I'm Toc6, welcome back to my Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced Let's, Let's Play. Now, I'm gonna be doing a batch recording today, which means I'm gonna be recording longer than usual and not saying my outro. So, yeah, let's just get it going. Today, I'm going to get some proper equipment. Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. First, I need to see who all's in my party. What all we got? Okay, not bad. But uh, what I want you to do is not a soldier. I want you to be an archer. Okay, wait. You, you, what? Wait, did I already have an archer? I probably already have an archer. Well, in that case, be a thief. Oh, there we go, that's how I check abilities. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to... I need to do... Woo! I need to do a setting real quick. Adjust my settings here. Just points, non equip items off. Yes, see, it's those changes. So, yeah, uh. Sorry, give me a second, I'm getting equipment for everyone. Jackknife. Hmm. Oh, what am I yawning all of a sudden? I was fine like five seconds ago. No, I definitely want him to be an archer, so I need her, the Viera that I got, but I haven't learned any of their names, but I will hear it a bit. I need them to learn a defensive ability and a white page ability. Charbo. Okay. Yeah, take that. Later. Oh, yeah, you do get guns in this game. That's the defense, seven, weapon attack, defense, five. <sighs> so, forgive me for a second, guys. I'm just getting some stuff adjusted. <coughs> This will definitely come in handy later. Did I not? I wasn't paying attention to the process. Alright. So. You know, I need you to be a fencer. <clears throat> I'll change you back to archer later, but right now I need you to be a, to be a fencer. I think you'll do fine right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a lot of good equipment off the bat, but you know. <sighs> Stop. Alright. So we are going to do a little housekeeping. Actually, I'll read some of the laws. Laws. A history. How laws came to be. Laws have been a part of life in Ivalis for hundreds of years. The king in those days used powerful magic to create the first laws. The king then established the judicial system to enforce his laws. 
Yeah, sorry. Knowledge of the means to control the laws has been passed down to Royal Wine ever since. Wait. Oh, that holds some... That holds some implications. Okay. You'll see later. Laws are unfair. Presentment towards Queen Remedy? Remedy? I don't know. Remit. Remedy, I'll just say. Has been building these last few years. The reason? Frequent and seemingly arbitrary changes in the laws. It's gone so far that some pundits wryly say she's doing it to please that brat, the prince. But she is. There's a reason, story wise. Mm. Uh, sorry. Uh, Clan Borzoi. I hear Clan Borzoi is on the warpath these days, challenging other clans, fighting for turf. Ah, things just aren't the way they used to be. Dirty secret. Word on the streets that Clan Borzoi's got the backing of a foreign criminal ring. Maybe one with eyes on Ivalis itself? Abilities. If you want to win when you engage, master some abilities. Your weapons and armor determine which abilities you can use, so choose carefully. Blah 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 blah. That's just ability types, actions, of actions, reactions, obvious. <sighs> Support, and then combo abilities. Okay, abilities triggered when now I use a combo. Now. I want to point out, judge points go towards combos and other very powerful abilities later on. Job change. Job changing can come in handy. Any soldier can cast spells by changing jobs to mage. Choose the right job to maximize your engagement potential. One thing though, your race determines what jobs you can be. Only, v only Vieras can become quick-footed fencers and Bongas, Bongas are tailor-made warriors, so make lots of friends. Jobs. The better you are at one job, the more job options that become available. Expert jobs give access to powerful abilities like double sword and jump. Double sword? Is that supposed to be dual wield? Whatever. Conditions. Thought engaging was all about defeating your enemy? Think again. There are many conditions. Uh, yeah, that's. We'll figure that out later. Combos. Ever notice the judge gives you a judge point when you defeat an enemy? <sighs> you can use those points to cooperate on combo attacks. Stock up those judge points and do some real damage. Just make sure your allies also have combo abilities so they can pitch in. Yeah, if you activate a combo with enough people nearby, you can deal some massive damage. Laws. You saw in the past video what those are about law rankings. This is something I'll explain like treasure hunt. That's whenever you place an area, the area shakes. That means you can hunt treasure there, which is just a quick like roll of the dice of what you will get. Herb picking, this is going to be our first mission. Look for people to gather as a fever reducing for muskmaloy musk on the Giza Plains. No experience necessary. Clear battle, we win twice what we paid. Plus some ex whatever we gain from battle. Uh, I need to stop yawning. Oh, sorry, I skipped dialogue. I need to stop doing that. Mm. Alright, here's our first battle. We'll have to deal with these monsters first. Then we can gather those herbs. I told you our clan w does rough work, Kupo. I mean, it is what it is. I'm 
Well, that's basically my motto at this point, but this is the best thing I can say about it. It is what it is. Yeah, the archer. Oh wait, why did I do that? Oh wait, no, I should check the laws. Uh, no. Art info? No. Uh, oh, what was that? Is that? Is that? Is that? There it is. Okay, that's fine. Protect is forbidden. That's fine. The poison is recommended. Which means I can gain some judge points on here. Yeah. Doing the recommended action. Doing the recommended action in comparison to the laws is how you get judge points aside from defeating it. So, right now, we're probably just going to be stocking up on them either way, so it doesn't really matter how I get them, but it's good to know later on that you can get them not just by beating enemies. Also, uh, in this version of Final Fantasy Tactics, the enemies are also bound by the laws, which you saw in the last, you know, you, you saw as the story element. But you can abuse that by putting up a law, well, later on, you can abuse that by putting up a law where, say, your opponent relies on charming your units in order to do its damage like heavily relies on it. You can then put up a law against charm and the computer will note the computer aka the enemy com whatever dictates the actions that the enemy takes it will no longer process charm as an option. Meaning you can essentially seal your enemy's actions if you play it right. Sorry, I've been gone most of the week. I've been really tired and been playing uh, Sonic Frontier. It's a really fun game. Just being allowed to go around and do what you want as Sonic, for the most part, with every now and again, you have to do a stage that requires you to speedrun. Meanwhile, otherwise, you can take your time and just do whatever. That's fun. Hey, poison! And Judge gives me a point for poisoning my opponent. That's shoot. Forgot how much damage these guys do. There we go.
Hey, uh, I might just, not today, but later, at some point, uh, put up Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, just for the sake of, if I want to show you the differences, and why I personally think 2 is the best version of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. It's a little more user friendly in a way, but it can also get very annoying with the mission requirements in some cases. <coughs> Sorry. Bye, fairy. I know I said I didn't, I was gonna do a batch recording, but man, am I tired, so I may just uh, do a couple missions and then lay down. It was storming in my area last night, and while it doesn't freak me out, I do have pets, and they don't like lightning. So, yeah, I was, I was up for a portion of last night watching one of them, just being there to comfort them. So I'm very worn out. <coughs> them, I think. <coughs> uh, allergies are killing me. What were we looking for, Koopa? Some kind of medicinal herb. Muskma something? Muskma Loy? That grows all over the place, Koopa. Oh, huh? really? Yeah, there's some right there and over there, too. I used to pick it all the time when I was little, Koopa. The info fee for this mission was cheap, wasn't it? Mm, well, it was pretty cheap, I guess. That figures. Still, it's probably good to start slow. Let's pick us some herbs and get back to town, Koopa. Now, what you saw there was, uh, what was it? I think it was AP. Give me a second, I gotta look something up real quick. Okay, so the reason I had to pause the recording and come back is to essentially check uh, what the most optimal map placement is because you can straight up get really you can get legendary items essentially and sorry for the for the sound glitches I'm just trying to oh uh never mind I forgot I thought hold on
jeez. Uh, I know this is scuffed, sorry. Anyway, so you can get legendary items just based around where you place certain areas on the map. Go and treasure hunt. Alright. There. Uh, that didn't shake, so yeah, alright. So right now I'm setting up to get some really legendary items that give some really good abilities later on. Honestly, I think I'm gonna end it here today. I've done a lot of explaining stuff and everything. And quite honestly, I'm too tired to continue. So, uh, yes, yeah, thanks for joining me today. Sorry for the short episode. Have a good day, good night, see you later, bye bye.